to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. I also want to tell you that we are in fabulous Manhattan Beach, California with these two lovely ladies, Megs and Pegs from Curry Girls Kitchen. And I actually met them in Italy. In Italy, like two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, two years ago now. We did mom and daughter trips there. It was absolutely amazing. And we filmed other videos for our channel, so you've probably seen her, but you haven't met Pegs yet. And we are in their beautiful kitchen, like I said, in Manhattan Beach, California. And today we are gonna show you how to make two delicious quinoa breakfast recipes. So one of the recipes is sweet from yes. their blog, and the other one is going to be savory, so we've got something for everybody. Mm -hmm. And what we love about this and why we wanted to share it with you guys is that it just uses leftover quinoa. So whether you want to make a big batch on the weekend and have it for breakfast all throughout the week, or you make a little bit extra at dinner time and you have it in the morning, these recipes will take like five minutes. Like oh, they're so easy. easy and they're so good. And it's nice to have the sweet and savory option. Well, and I really love it too because if you're a worker bee and you need something ready to go in the morning, you can have this already ready to go and out the door. Yeah, yes. so easy. Yeah. So we're gonna start with the savory option first and it involves some pesto. So we're gonna show you how to make a really delicious homemade pesto. And we're also gonna to top it with a soft boiled egg. Now I know not all of you enjoy eggs or eat eggs. So um, if you wanted to do, we were talking about like a vegan option. Other options. Hemp seeds. Yes. Um, what else did you We said you could do maybe? like some scrambled tofu yeah. would be really yummy. Yeah. You could even put some like edamame or yeah. a different bean in there right. in the morning. And quinoa on its totally. own is already high in protein. Yeah, so exactly. you're pretty much getting what you need anyway. Seeds, I love mm -hmm. adding like sunflower seeds with yeah. the quinoa is really tasty, like crunch. sunflower seeds. Yeah. That'd be really good. Yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with our soft boiled egg. So we just have one egg here and the recipe, these two recipes just make one serving each. You could totally double, triple, whatever you could meal prep. Um, so what we're gonna do is just grab our one egg and we're gonna place it gently in a bowl with a bowl, a pot with boiling water. Yes. And we're just gonna gently. let that sit. <laughs> yeah, so be gentle, make sure that you don't drop it in there because it might crack. Um, and just let it sit while you prep the rest of the stuff. And and I would cover it if you're like in a little bit of a hurry, okay. so yeah. that it or just depending happens. If you, if you don't like a soft boiled egg, you want a hard boiled egg. That takes longer. It takes yeah. a little bit longer, and if you cover it, the steaming will cook it through. Yeah, yeah. more so. Okay, be good. So we're just gonna let that do its thing over there, and we're gonna move over here and make some homemade pesto. Yay! So the base of pesto is fresh basil, which okay. we have a bunch of fresh basil, and I don't always measure my uh -oh. pesto. I just kind of like throw whatever amount of basil I have. So we probably have, I don't know, two cups of basil here. And then another great thing that you can do with pesto is you can add greens. Um, we like spinach, you guys mm -hmm. make kale sometimes. We do kale, we've done it with arugula if you like it a little bit spicier. Cilantro's my Our cilantro is like the go-to. And then we're gonna garlic. throw in a garlic yep. clove. Yep. Okay, and then I'm gonna just pulse this okay. real quick. Uh -huh. All right. There we go. All right, so yeah. we've pulsed it all up. And then traditionally, pesto has pine nuts. Mm. Um, I personally love toasting things beforehand because it gives it a little bit of flavor. Um, but raw pine nuts are absolutely delicious. If you don't have access to pine nuts, they can definitely be a little bit pricey. Yes. Um, you could use walnuts, almonds, sunflower seeds, hemp seeds, hemp seeds pumpkin seeds. seeds. Pumpkin seeds. You can really use anything. Anything. Um, so it's like quarter cup ish. So we have the, the basil, the pine nuts, and the garlic in there. And now, since we are doing this dairy-free, um, we're gonna use a vegan cheese substitute because it traditionally has Parmesan cheese. And I found yeah, this one. one. This is a cashew grated cheese that I actually found online. So I haven't great. seen it in the store. And it's a really great product. We shared it with Alyssa mm -hmm. and it tastes really good. Really like it's like it. ground up cashews with some nutritional yeast and a little bit of spices. But if you can't find that, you can totally just use nutritional yeast. Yeah. I love nutritional and yeast. And honestly, I've even made it before where I've accidentally left out the nutritional mm -hmm. yeast. Yeah. And if you're using something like a cashew or a walnut, it tastes cheesy yeah. on its own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, and then we'll just... Okay, and then the last thing for pesto is just a drizzle of olive oil and a pinch of sea salt. It's honestly so easy. And you kind of just go by like feel for pesto. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it honestly just depends on like the texture that you like. If you like it a little bit more runny, then add a little bit more oil. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 
gosh. And it just smells so good. It's so very good. We always mm. double or triple, especially mm. when basil's in season, we yeah. make big batches of it and put it in the freezer. So like we'll get like a awesome. non-glass or BPA-free plastic, cover it, coat the top with olive oil to preserve it. Yeah. And freeze it. You can put it in little ice cube trays so you can have so that. So good. And just like toss it in your pot with pasta or whatever. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Amazing. All right, okay. so, so we have our pesto, and the next thing we're gonna do is basically just stir a little bit of our cooked quinoa with our pesto. So I use about a cup, maybe I'll just measure it out for you guys so you can see the exact proportions. So we use about a cup of cooked quinoa, and quinoa will last in the fridge for at least four or five days. Yeah. So you can totally like meal prep this on a Sunday if you wanted. Um, and then just add it into a little bowl. And then we'll use some of our pesto. And what I love just stirring this together, it just makes it really vibrant and pretty, and it also just like tastes so yummy. So you can just give it a quick little stir. And then we're just gonna transfer it into our bowl. You could heat this up if you wanted. Um, I kinda like it cold because it's gonna have a warm egg on top and it just, I don't know, it has like such a good little combination I of love stuff. That. Yeah, mm. so good. And then we're also gonna add in some avocado and we kind of mentioned, we mentioned healthy fats already. Healthy fats are so great, especially with a meal that has a lot of carbohydrates. Um, adding in the fats, it's gonna make it a lot more satisfying. It's gonna make it more filling. You're gonna end up feeling more full for longer. Yes. And avocado is amazing because it's also got the fiber in it. So it's just like, oh, yeah. avocado is the best. Well, what I love about avocado is that it not only is it such a great beneficial fat, but it's so good for your skin. Mm, it is. Like, it's really good. I, Megan and I love just lathering it in our face. <laughs> have you guys done like a face, like a make a face mask? Oh, you do have a do it yourself. Do, do, do it yourself face mask and a hair mask to help with like, dry scalp. Yeah. It's really good. We'll link those down for you guys. Below. Yes. So once you've got your egg peeled, it's basically just all about putting it on top and then digging right in. So just kind of drop your egg right on top. Beautiful. I love sprinkling it with a little bit of hemp seeds and some pepper. Um, like we said, hemp seeds are really high in protein again. So if you aren't doing the egg, add in some little extra form of protein. And you guys, look how beautiful this is. Stunning. <laughs> and we're, we gotta do the egg, the, egg, the egg poke. Okay, here it goes. Oh yeah, baby. We. Oh, nailed that. Nailed it. <laughs> so good. So as you can see, this literally took us like five minutes. Yeah. And it's so good. Full of healthy fats, healthy proteins, complex carbohydrates. So it's going to keep you nice and full. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to set this aside and move on to the sweet option, which is, of yes. course, all of these are linked below for you. So if you want to make these recipes at home, you can find the links down in the description box. Um, and again, we're just going to use some regular cooked quinoa. Yeah. So if you... I, like Alyssa said, making this a big batch ahead of time. Now we're gonna take another cup or two, depending on how many people you're making this for. We're gonna do it for one. So we're gonna take one cooked cup of quinoa. And this one, we just cooked it in water and maybe a pinch of salt. So it's really plain in flavor. So yeah. we're gonna, I love when you're making quinoa like in bulk, leaving it really plain because you can always season it to how you like. Quinoa is one of those ingredients where it like takes on like any flavor. Exactly. So yeah, keeping it plain is a really great tip. And then right here I have canned coconut uh, milk and I've just put it in here. I kind of mixed it up a bit. So I'm going to mm -hmm. use both a little bit, about a tablespoon of the cream and then some of the milk to just reheat this in. And I have a small pan on like medium low heat. And so put the milk. So you're in. using full fat coconut milk. Full fat yeah. coconut milk, yeah. like we kind of touched on in the first one. Yeah. I have another uh, um, idea too, if yeah. we didn't want to use the coconut fat, full fat, can we just cook it in coconut water, Meg? Oh, totally. yeah. You can no. totally yeah. do coconut yeah. water. Yeah. But because we're going to add a little bit of honey in, in, mm -hmm. in here too, you really can just add regular water. And I wouldn't go ahead and add in the honey now because we like using a raw honey. Yeah. And if you are vegan, you can add a little maple syrup, maple syrup. instead. And yeah. there's also another great product, you guys, if you've never heard of it. It's called Apple Honey. Oh. Yeah, it's really awesome. What is that? From apples? It's from apples. It's made from apples. Interesting. I love go that. Yeah, let's look okay. at it. I know, I mean, a lot of you guys that watch the channel are vegan, and you don't eat honey, which is obviously totally fine. It's but called this Bee Free really... Honey. Oh. And it's wonderful. Cool. That's really great. And yeah. it has, like, the thick consistency oh yeah well maybe should we put that in here 
Totally. Because sure. I, let's show you guys this, the texture. We'll show you the texture mm-hmm. of it as we, yeah. I'll pour some in, into here so you can see. Um, and it's that about really like a option. tablespoon or so, so you can measure it in your spoon as well. Okay. And so let's see. It's oh, just yeah, like wow. honey. Look at that. That is amazing. I know. I'm so wow. excited with that product. And I love that it's um, from apples oh because if you want to add a fruit in here, you could add cut apples in mm, here. That would be so good. And it'll mm. they'll heat up as you're do, heating this up. And so this is looking really good. It's just like this like thick consistency. The chia seeds are starting to get expanded, bigger, and that's it. We're gonna put and it you in. You could kind of swap if you didn't want to use chia or you don't have it. You could use like flaxseed meal or like totally. Totally. seeds or nuts or. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. we love fresh grinding our flax mm. seeds just to really help keep them as fresh and as nutritionally yeah. dense as possible. So we would suggest doing that if you're in a rush, like if you don't have the time to fresh grind them before you put them in, use the chia seeds or like a hemp part would okay. be good. You could also add like a sunflower seed oh, yeah. or nut oh, yeah, into yeah. here. So delicious. just into the bowl. Mm. And this is kind of a like plain base. So you really could uh-huh. do like banana, you could do stewed apples, you could do yes. whatever oh is gosh. in season. Exactly. Yeah. We love, we just got done with persimmon season mm-hmm. and oh. we love adding persimmons to this. And then if you don't have any fresh fruit, like in the summertime or right now, like in the winter, yeah. you have like citruses. I don't necessarily think I would add citrus to this. So you yeah. can do dried fruits. Like we have dried Zanti currants here. You can mm. do dried figs, dried persimmons dried even, dates. anything. Dates. Yeah. yeah. So tasty. And you could do a little nut butter on top, whatever yes. you wanted. Yeah. Nut butter, exactly. You can drizzle oh. a little bit more honey on top of mm-hmm. or maple syrup. Yeah. And then I love finishing with a little pinch of mm. salt because oh, I wouldn't have thought about doing that. It brings out all the sweetness. Mm. And if you're using a Celtic or Himalayan or like a finishing Malden salt, it's actually really remineralizing. So it's going to allow your yeah. body to absorb all of that better. So good. Look how beautiful. This guys is so good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for having me in oh your my kitchen. Gosh. This has been so fun. And we're actually gonna be shooting another video right after this one, which is gonna be live on their channel, which is all about meal prepping salads in jars. So we're gonna show you two different mason jar salads that are great for meal prep, great for taking with you on the go to the office. So that will be linked below and you can just check that out too. Like I mentioned, our recipes are linked below. So the pesto one is on my blog. This cinnamon delicious bowl of yum. Mm. I just like want to dive into this right now. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's also down below and it's on their blog. And subscribe to my channel, subscribe to their channel. Hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Bye.